What is up guys? Me doubles back here with a brand new video. Today, Merry Christmas, first of all, but we are gonna be getting back on the brand new season nine for Project Ascension. All random abilities, talents, everything. Picking up where we left off in the last video, but this time starting a brand new build with what we achieved in the last video and going further than we've ever gone before. I really ended up enjoying it actually, especially towards the you know the last two thirds of the video. And I know it took me a bit to get this one out, but uh, I think it was worth it. I don't ever do this really. I, I seriously have like 30 videos out of 500, I think, where this kind of thing even remotely happens. But I want to say I'm super close to 60 thousand subscribers i know it's been a little bit less frequent the last uh you know five six months on the channel that i've been posting but it's because i am putting 50 67 hours a week into this other server thing as you guys know with conquest of ezra I'm trying very hard for many reasons both with the moral debt but also it's an awesome opportunity i really enjoy making the game all these different things and uh i appreciate you guys sticking it with me getting 60k though would be sick so if you are not already subscribed consider subscribing there is always going to be more content hope you guys enjoy the video though let's jump right in <laughs> So in my last video, we leveled our very first guy on day one of the brand new season. Everything was random, even the talents. It was a crazy experience. We did all the Mana Storm stuff we could, got to like 65 or whatever on day one, and then we got nerfed promptly as soon as people realized that Dark Apotheosis was actually pretty good. Maybe it was an over nerf, maybe it's not, but I didn't want to play that anymore. So towards the end of the last video, we remade our character Prestiged rather, and we had a brand new build. It was looking fine, but I will tell you now, I I did quite a lot. I leveled to max. I re-rolled. I didn't get anything that good. I then prestiged again. I re-rolled and I didn't get anything good. I found out about a brand new strategy. I'll tell you guys about it now. Okay, so this might be too good and also it probably won't last forever. Partly, I got this from a friend of mine, but I realized, right? So I bought that starter pack because I do it. I'm not advertising you have to spend money, but I got bizarre tokens from it. I got quite a lot and I realized I can complete cardboard daily quests without doing them by spending either gold or bizarre tokens. So what this does is it gives me an unbelievable amount of marks of ascension. I just spend the bizarre tokens, I get free marks of ascension, that means I can roll for a better build. So I feel like one of the best ways that you could possibly get a good build is according to a friend of mine, you make a tank or something to spam mana storms with. You, you know, obviously have a loot bot or you just loot everything. And then you spend all of that time in the mana storm collecting stuff, selling it, vendoring it, putting it on the auction house, making gold that way. It is actually really fast gold. Then you buy the bizarre tokens, guys. And then you complete the quests with it because they're a better bang for your buck than the actual gold, apparently. And then, I know it's a big one. It's a lot of steps and there's no way it lasts because you have to have bizarre tokens for this to work. But you basically end up with a shit ton of marks to roll a really good build, like I said. And as you can see, you could do that if you want to get a bunch of marks of ascension very, very quickly. It is actually good in the meantime, while it still works, here's the problem. I did about 100 or so ability rerolls, and I think like 150 or 200 talents. I think it's more like 150. Regardless, I didn't get a playable build. So that's why it's taken so long for me to get to this point where I'm making an episode two. Now, I already did all the giveaway stuff. I will announce to one at the end of the video, but I already mailed everything as soon as I could, so you probably already know that you won, but you might not if you haven't been on the character you left in the description in a few days. Uh, but what I will say is there will be another giveaway at the end of this Ascension video. What I would like to do, I am going to make a new guy. I have my McDouble's name, and uh, we're going to go for a tank, right? Because I'm thinking to myself, the only thing I personally care about in Season 9 is not M+, not dungeons, and not raiding. It's Mana Storms. I really just don't see anything else that I'd want to do right this moment. So maybe a tank would be good and I keep thinking about shield of righteousness paladin stuff like that let's try that maybe it would work okay so we're gonna go with the following build consecration thunderclap righteous fury shield of righteousness doesn't look like it would be the best but it's a bunch of aoe I have to have the righteous fury to use the shield the shield heals me I'm gonna go for what I've got but in part I've got this interesting thing draining strikes so I'm gonna get even more healing for my single target stuff if I can get shield slam if I can get devastate maybe or if I can get, uh, let's just say, I don't know, revenge might count. That could be pretty neat for getting more health. I have a bunch of damage otherwise, ways to not go oom um with the spell blade. My ability cards look bad. It's not really. I want to go double armor charge shield wall. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. I just want to be as tanky as possible. You know, they nerf my dark apotheosis. I don't even feel OP. But then I go on this and I realize it's only 10%, only 
10% reduced damage. Otherwise, I could do whatever the hell I want. As a quick aside, by the way, because it was obvious, um, it, what you would really want to nerf on the Dark Apotheosis was the Emulation Aura. It was doing like 60% of the overall damage, but blanket nerfing it by 15% was probably not correct. So we're going to get an Aura right now. We're going to get an XP pot right now. I'm going to, you know, mindlessly level up to like 15 so we can do Mana Storms, and hopefully we can make this work, and uh, it's not bad. Okay, it's been an interesting journey. I started off just doing some basic leveling, just saw what I got, uh, because as I told you guys, I did some runs prior to this video, and they weren't video worthy, you know? If I'm honest with you, the abilities I'm getting, maybe they finally did add some ways to like like, you know, hone in on stuff. Maybe I'm just luckier this time. Hey, it took long enough, right? Uh, but it's all pretty cool, and it seems to have genuine synergy. Yes, I still have some garbage. But dudes, I have Hell Scream for an AoE bleed. Mass Razor Lash for an AoE bleed. Freak, uh, this is my favorite one. Absolute Zero for AoE damage that stuns everybody. Uh, I have Thunderclap and Consecration as well. So think about that. I have all of these different spells that I can use for AoE, and it's going really well. I'm on a level 70 Mana Storm right now. Like I said, 64 or 5 on day 1. Haven't really tried too much after that, haven't had a build that I really wanted to play. Uh, but this one might actually be good enough to keep going in Mana Storms. So I got Mocking Blow, that's garbage, thank you Ascension. I mean, right when I'm saying, hey, maybe this is good and fun, um, they give me doo-doo. Following a charge, my next three things I don't have do things for things I don't have. Great! Okay, this is the worst part, to be real with you. Uh, I, I really wish I hadn't said nice things. Uh, I freaking approved SS. Do I have SS? No. Nope. I don't have rogue abilities. Okay, bro. Honest to God, though, like, it is actually better. I'm not advocating, like, if you just want to watch me and don't want to play, that's cool. That's how this channel's always been. This is just how I feel. For the most part, this build is better right now. Also, I am getting a lot of skill cards. This is one thing they definitely did right this season. Uh, the amount of good, epic skill cards that I've gotten is kind of insane. Death Wish, and I didn't even have to earn it, right? I mean, that's a big deal. Last season, it took me a bit, right? Anyway, I've got to kill Agalathos, the Raging. Let me show you what this uh, is kind of coming down to right now. So I can charge in the Shield of Righteousness with that other talent I showed you guys. Look at that. That's a lot of free healing every time I click that. It's like a free pot. What I'm going to do now is Mass Razor Lash, Absolute, Hell Scream for the Bleed, Consecration. At that precise moment, I Thunderclap unless I need the heal. And I just keep doing that, and everything's just dying around me, right? It's actually insanely easy. Uh, I also do... Oh, God. Freaking... Oh, my God. The Bone Storm is awful. Um, but yeah, if I need the heal, I go for that, but otherwise, I just keep doing exactly what I was doing. So here's a Galathos. The bosses are the worst part, because sometimes they're just super slow to kill, but as I told you guys in my last video, the scaling is kind of, uh, just different. I don't know how to really pinpoint it, but some bosses in, like, this Mana Storm, for example, have 5,500 HP. Some bosses, like a couple Mana Storms prior, had, like, I think 2530. What I think I'd like them to lean into when it comes to Mana Storms is exactly what a Mana Storm is trying to be which is a Diablo 3 map on uh, freaking World of Warcraft. So what that means is the bosses, unless you're going to give them crazy mechanics, I really think they should act as a checkpoint finisher. And the real trouble, the real struggle, should be fighting hordes of mobs upon hordes of mobs and getting through the dungeon. We are on 71 though, which means we finally hit a checkpoint. If you don't remember from the last video, every 10 levels, starting at level 1, 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, you get a checkpoint level. So if you actually get to 65, but you fail, you don't have to start at 1, you can start at 61. Now that I got to 71, I am good to always come back here. And that is a big deal. Because it has not been hard so far. I mean, I'm level 40, for God's sakes. Uh, freaking dampen magic. I'm not even gonna put that on my bar, dude. I just don't care. Mace spec, probably irrelevant. We're gonna do some rerolls and sell some stuff soon. To be honest with you, I'm just gonna leave. Actually, I'll die. Reason being is because I checkpointed this, I think it's a good place to literally checkpoint and stop. Sell everything, do some rerolls. Yeah, and see if the build becomes a lot better. Okay, so I've been doing some runs. I got to 81, so that means we do save right now. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, there we go. I did get it. And uh, I got, you know, some interesting stuff here and there. Unbounded Drain Life, absolutely nutty. It heals for way too much. As you can see from the clips, my AoE is ridiculous. I literally run in there. I absolute zero Consecration, Thunderclap, Hell Scream. If I can, I Mass Razor Lash. And uh, if it gets too hairy, I Shield Wall. 
That is broken, not gonna lie. Yeah, I pulled the uh, summon imp, guys. I've got a free fortitude on me, which is just crazy. I've been getting some nutty things. It's kind of sleeper, won't lie. Uh, blessed recovery. If I get crit, I heal. And then you think, oh, it can't get any better than that, except over here, blood craze. When I get crit, I heal. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's that simple. Uh, I got a lot of things that increase the crit of my, you know, different abilities. I've got, you know, more ways to block. I got critical block and didn't even know it, to be honest with you. Uh, so using a shield seems to be a mainstay. I've reduced damage, more damage. Uh, yeah, there are still some things I need to get rid of. We can do a couple rerolls real quick after we uh, see what we get. But I actually think this might be the build that we reach 100 with. Devotion Aura, by the way, really good for what I'm trying to do right now. That's a free 435 armor. Yeah, I'll definitely use that. And what else do we get? Soul Void, dealing damage or something I don't have does things for things I don't have. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I still need Drained Soul. So even though it affects Drained Life, it's not good for me. That happens a lot. I think you're going to hear that a lot. There's like so many things you get that you can't use. Anyway, let's kill Fenris. This is like my favorite one because it's like straight up just one boss and that's it. But it does give you an idea of what's going down. I pop all my AoE. I mass Razor and I cannot die as far as I can tell in a single target fight. It is literally impossible. Between the healing I got from the talent I started with and the shield of righteousness, I trickle the bosses down. They were dying kind of slow in the beginning, but now that I've gotten a lot more AoE abilities that actually do dot damage, I don't feel like they die that slow at all. Again, I need to point this out because I want you guys to get this too and experience what I'm experiencing. Absolute Zero is an absolute hero. It's really good. The stun on it, man, that you get when it stacks up enough is so clutch every time. All right, what do we get? What do we get? We're almost level 60, by the way, guys. Seven more levels. And I'm just going to keep on progressing in the Menace Storm. Nature's Bounty, crap I can't use. So let's just charge. This is what I like to do. I like to find a place where I can charge, get all the guys stacked up on me. Absolute zero as they come in. We're going to go for a Razor Lash right as the stun's about to proc soon. Nice. I'm not going to die. There's no way. If I get, like, kind of low, I, I wasn't here. But if I did, I could Unbounded Drain Life. And uh, it literally saves the day every time. Now, things do spawn on you. And they do attempt to clap me out. I have actually died. I died at Menestorm 77, which was sad. But I've had some close calls, dude, where I literally almost got killed from that freaking little, you know, bone storm that spawns for one. But also some of these mobs have a mechanic I had not seen previously where they just slap you for like a crazy amount of damage. The only thing I can tell for it is that there's a special sound effect. I literally don't even understand where it's coming from or why or how. Oh man, I got to kill the Hydromancer. This one sucks. It's such a long run past so many mobs, bro. But yeah, uh, anyway, as you can see, it's going good. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to charge. Oh no, I might have been the stupidest person west of the Philadelphia duplex. Let's just go over here and see if this is good. Mass Razor Lash, Hell Scream, Thunderclap. This is going to be it. Absolute. Oh, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Absolute zero. <laughs> Okay, I pulled too big, but to be fair, I've got like a zoomer mindset right now because I don't want to do a freaking mana storm where it spawns me so far back. <sighs> At least we were at 81 or were we past that by then? I think we were past that, but it'll be fine. As I said, the goal is definitely 100 right now. Also, I've got to sell stuff. So honestly, let's just take that as a sign that we need to go and just die one more time, sell everything, and let's come back and let's progress. Okay, guys, we got level 60. I am in Mana Storm 85. I died on like 86 or 7. Let me just make sure I know for sure. What do we get? Twisted Mind. I don't think I can use that with my other stances. Let's see. Yeah, it takes away uh, the Righteous Fury. Damn. One-handed weapon spec. That's not bad, though. That one's actually pretty good. 4% block, 2% more damage. Wow. So like I said, guys, we are going to keep going now that I'm level 60. I want to get to 100 minimum. Uh, I don't know what the highest level is. I think somebody said 4,000 or something like that. I think I saw that in a video or something. Maybe that's wrong. Uh, but what I do know is that 100 would be really fun for me to personally accomplish. And then after that, maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below what is actually considered a high tier mana storm right now. And I think we're just going to keep pushing this until I can't stand it anymore. And maybe we'll just keep making new builds and doing that eventually as well. I don't know. I want to progress this one for sure now though. So what we have to do is get to 91 so I can sell everything and relax. It's kind of crazy, man. Like there are some really good things about this season. And yes, I think the RNG can screw you, but you can also get really lucky the way that I'm getting. And when you do get lucky, the fun factor is actually pretty freaking high. I mean, it's just really tough, dudes. It's so tough because literally I could not give you another video because of how little fun I was having on my other character. On this guy, I just want to keep going. The polarization of it is actually kind of insane, but... 
At least I know there's actual crazy positive potential. Crimson defense. So, oh, oh, blocking now grants you Crimson Defender. Consume three stacks to empower your next spell, which includes Shield of Righteousness, which I have, making it do AoE. Oh my god. That's just free. So what you're telling me is I can block and get free AoE with Shield of Righteousness, the only non-AoE spell that I actually use right now? Huh. And you're telling me if I get something that I love, my favorite spell in the game might actually be Avenger's Shield. You're telling me if I get that, PWS, or Shield Slam, that I get even more benefits? Huh. Now that might be the best thing I've actually got. And the most fun thing I've got. Did not expect that. Okay. So I'll keep that. Let's get rid of Soul Void and see if we get something usable. Hamstring? Impro oh, yeah, of course, it's a talent. Uh, garbage. Okay, let's go kill Argle Mac. Guys, how you say his name, dude? No one says these names out loud, right? All right, we're going in, boys. We are going in. Every day of the week, let's go for a Mass Razor Lash. Hell Scream on top of that as well. Thunderclap. All the AoE. Uh, I wonder if this is just going to be way harder now that I'm 60, or if it's appropriately scaling to be similar difficulty, uh, regardless of your level. So, this boss is dying super slow compared to the ones I killed prior. Let's just go ahead and silence that. Okay, all the regular mobs are dead, and now I'll just wait 10 years to slowly kill this guy. We did get Victory Rush, by the way, which is actually super pog. Basically, Victory Rush, as far as I can tell, outside of the lack of mana, is basically a second potion. So, it's actually even more frequent, obviously, so depending on how many guys you're killing. Okay, there we go. Level 86, here I come. Oh, and I came, my friends. I came hard. As you guys know, I'm not typically one to lie. I will tell you today, I have never been sadder in my life. I was progressing, chilling, having a literal good time. Honestly, I know it's cringe. I don't have it actually recorded, but you have to believe me. I'm singing to myself, listening to some music, doing a little bit of a dance, playing some WoW. I'm thinking, bro, I'm going to get this video out. I'm going to get to 100. I just got done working 70 hours last week. I got 52 hours. It's only Friday. I'm still going to work on Saturday. I'm making money. I'm actually not struggling in life. I'm playing things, doing things I like. Oh, 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 and I fucking died, bro. And I got like one shot in the corner too, man. Uh, and that's the worst part. Like I had no clue how I died and I don't think I shield walled. Um, <laughs> I just, that's messed up. It's messed up, bro. On like many, many levels, it's messed up. It's sad, it's depressing, and I'm, it's like cry worthy because this was a free 100. I mean, I was on it, man. Like I was on it. One hour later. So on the bright side, guys, I did actually get some cool stuff. As you can see, I got the green tower. It's on me right now. Now, this is actually pretty neat because it's a scaled up version. You don't typically get to use cool stuff like this, but because they're scaling all the items, I do get to use it. And then I also got a really crazy good ability, the Holy Shield, 100% block chance, plus I get more armor uh, based on my shield. So that's pretty good because we are super tanky right now. Now I am in a level 81 and you know, you have to understand something guys. I just died at level 90, which means that's the worst possible scenario because that means I did not get the save one level before the level that you would get the save and not only that i didn't lose because i can't clear the content i lost because i was barely paying attention in fact uh, look this is the worst part i hate to have to say it like this but it's true i lost because i was having too much fun and because i was having fun for once and not just mindlessly clicking my buttons uh, I, I died because I wasn't paying as much attention to the actual game. If you look at it and understand it from that perspective, that's sad, bro. But look at this cool ability I got as well. Fire and Fury, I'll just show it to you guys rather than reading it. It just does a big old flame strike on a huge cooldown, and, uh, it really adds nicely to the build. I've got so many good abilities right now. I can victory rush and kite these guys back, and then I can pop the pot. I'm blocking, blocking, blocking. Let's just keep doing any kind of AoE damage we can as we run. Absolute zero. Hell scream. Let's just victory rush this guy as we go around this corner. I want all the range guys to uh, come to me. Here's a drain life as I wait for them. You could see the power of that heal right there. And now we'll start going for a razor lash coming up. If I can, I'm actually... I'm just going to do it, dude. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, oh, shit. Something's doing too much damage. Do you see how you just get clapped sometimes and you don't know why? And you literally don't know why. So I think I know what I have to do. It's a little bit more boring, generally speaking, but I need to pull a little bit at a time. I don't think 80 is hard to be real with you. I really think I've got the power level to go to like double this, but it's always about diligence. It's rarely about skill when it comes to MMOs. That's what I've really learned over the years. So here we are fighting Mana Claw. <laughs> the freaking boss, bro. 
Oh my god. And I've spoke about this, right? Like, the way bosses work on mana storms is that they take 10 years to kill. Oh, I, I lied a little bit. Sometimes they summon a little bit of arcane above my head and make me move so I can't completely AFK. But considering the lacklusterness of the fight, it does make you kind of wish they didn't do that. But okay, we got to be positive. You know what I mean? We got to be more positive. You have to understand, I have a right to be salty dying on a 9D like that one level before it saves. All right, we're done. Let's go to the next one. An easy one. Nice, nice. Kind of. Okay, do I just get cocky and pull everything? I think I do. You would think I'd learn my lesson, but I don't think people do mana storms for like the longer ones, right? They're doing it for the brevity. The horde-based brevity, right? Well, I have to pull as many things as possible. We have to do a little bit like this. Go for what I'm going to just call Flame Strike from now on. Shield Wall, because I don't know why I'm losing HP, but I don't want to die. Victory Rush. Righteous uh, Shield thingy that also does AoE now. Thunderclap. And we'll just keep kiting. I look low, but I'm not. It's not a big deal, because I have my pot. Thunderclap right here as well. Keep going. The mushrooms. Oh, God. Trinket. Ahaha. Ah, you thought, you stupid bone storm. You thought. You were wrong. You were wrong. I'm going to be okay. Um, I think. Yeah, I'll be okay. Let's just heal up real quick with uh, Drain Life. Flame Strike. As they run into me. Bone Storm's trying to get me again. You will not get me ever again. Oh, look, the most fun part. Charge the boss that has no mechanics. I know this is going to sound weird, but you have to really think of it with the most nuance possible. I think the bosses should have like half the current HP and once again just serve as, you know, completion checkpoints. Unless you want to really give them some serious mechanics. But even then, it kind of, I don't know. Like, I just don't know. What the hell is that? That's my first greedy demon ever. What does it give me? Oh, weapons on the ground. Oh, gold on the ground. Oh, this is sick. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, my inventory's full. Oh, he freaking despawned. Stockade pauldrons. That's actually an upgrade right now over what I've got if I'm going tanky, which I am. That's nutty to actually get an upgrade. Wow, guys. Okay. I mean, I've been getting some epics from the Menastorm caches, but uh, this is definitely all upgrades, right? And that's what matters. All right, guys. He's actually going to die five minutes later. And there we go. Can we actually get past 90 this time? Do I pull everything? I mean, I don't know why I asked that question. Every single one of you already knows exactly what I'm going to do. Whether it's the right answer or not is pretty much irrelevant to me at this point. Okay, cool. Now let's pop everything known to man. And not hopefully die. Oh my god. I'm just gonna- oh my god. Why am I still dying with shield wall? Hello? I need to- oh god, oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Can I do this and no interrupts? Whoa, it's not actually healing. Like, for anything, basically. Whoa, it's not healing for anything. What the hell, dude? Why did Drain Life not heal for anything? Every single moment that I die pre-85 or 84, knowing it takes way too long on bosses for no reason, and knowing I died at a 90 at my peak happiness, that's the worst feeling, bros. So this is already way more expensive than when I first told you about it at the beginning of my video. Of course, this is, you know, a video that took many days to uh, ultimately get out, I'll just say. There are genuinely an ungodly amount of players online. So let me show you exactly what I was talking about. I can go over here with my 100 Bizarre Token. Tokens. Maybe go to PvP, right? Find something that gives a lot of marks, like, uh, this one gives 6,000. It costs 35 Bizarre Tokens. Boom. Bam. Done. Again, like, you're completely dependent on the markets, but when it works, it works. Like, this one right here was 70. Maybe I should have done that one. Crap. This one is 6,500, though, so we'll do that. And I guess I sit on 20. I definitely didn't do that in the right order, but it's okay. And so that is, I guess, nine re-rolls. Not that much. Okay, my very last roll. So far, nothing usable. Ending on nothing usable. Okay, do we at least get good gear? I have lots of Mana Storm caches. They seem to be from previous levels, though. All right, all of that's pretty much bad. What about Cobord Cache? Okay. Oh my god, my first trinket, and it's defensively oriented. Defense rating, and when struck in combat, I reduce my melee damage taken. That's gonna be good in horde fights. Okay, open this one. Nothing too good. That's PvP. Wow, holy crap. Imperial Plate Belt of the Gladiator, and it has so many stats on it. It is actually better than my Ogron Sash. Wow. And like I said, I can do one more reroll. Maybe this is the lucky one. Let's just get rid of SS. I won't use it. When activated, stuff that I don't have does stuff to other things that I don't have. Damn it! All right, I guess that's it. Well, my friends, once again, your boy is, in fact, the best music.
Uh, I'm on Menastorm level 110. I've just been chilling. Uh, they even, you know, bumped everything up and made it easier. Look at this right here. You can actually get a save every five levels now. It's funny because yesterday before this happened, I actually thought, okay, before I go to bed, I thought I'm going to actually just recommend that they make it every five levels because every 10 was really punishing. I died at Menastorm 90. I died at 87 and I didn't die because I'm bad. I died because uh, maybe my attention span was too low or maybe I just wasn't having fun because it was kind of mindless at that moment. Uh, maybe I got into one of the crappy meta storms where you have to run way too long, kill way too many creatures, uh, and then, you, you know, I don't know, stuff like that. Maybe the boss. I literally died on a boss because I thought to myself, this sucks and is boring, so I'm going to go get a freaking Hot Pocket real quick, and surely I'll be okay when I got back, I died. I mean, look, it is what it is. But when you feel that way, I don't think it's anything other than the game's fault. Some of you might disagree with me there, but I feel like the game needs to make you actually want to play. Uh, if it doesn't, it's the game's fault. So, Metastorm 110. I need to do one more to get the save right here. And I think we've actually primed ourselves to make a new build in the next video. Of course, we'll do it on this same character, so I save my progress. But the reason is, I really want to go for a DPS build and not a tank build, because I'm really sick of the bosses taking forever. I already know that if I didn't say this, someone's going to give me a comment that says, just play a DPS build if you really think it's too slow to kill the bosses. My response would have to have been, I guess you're right. So it's exactly what I'll try to do in the next video. I don't see, oh, she, oh, the fuck? she's right here, dude. She's right behind me. I didn't even see. Um, okay, let's just go for her real quick. This should be a quick and easy one. I've actually never had to do this one before, which is nice. Uh, I've got some pretty good stuff that's really been making this easier. You know, I fought Cookie earlier. Cookie's broken if you don't have an interrupt because he's unkillable. He heals to full and you cannot kill him. Uh, for me, though, what the hell just happened? For me, though, I did just get this, the interrupt rod. I don't know what happened, but uh, I'll continue what I was saying. So I have a toy, basically, I bought for the currency for doing mana storms that gives me an interrupt, which is nice. I've also got one that gives me, basically, a engineering bomb. Um, it's an interrupt, uh, kind of, it, it, like, incapacitates, it does big AoE damage. I've been using it because of the AoE damage part, and it's been serving me really well. I feel like something's just wrong here, by the way. I am a super tank right now. I've got so many tank talents, it's kind of insane. Parry, block, damage reduction, healing. I'm getting healing from, uh, you know, the victory rush, but I'm getting double the healing because we have that one, you know, vampiric strikes thingamajig. Whatever it was that we started off at the beginning of the video that was an enchant that let me get more heals from direct damage. Uh, it's really good, actually, with the victory rush. You can see the double heal. You can see double heal right there again. So, uh, I am pretty much unkillable, but as you can see from this boss's HP, my damage is so resident sleeper. It's so boring. That's why we've got to go for another video with a better build that has more DPS. Yes. It'll be more volatile, I can only imagine, but I'm kind of thinking about maybe something that can self-heal. I've been, you know, pondering some stuff, but the problem, of course, is that it is all random, so I can't truly plan for anything. What we will end up doing is opening these card packs and uh, seeing if that makes a massive difference in what our build can be for the next video. Now, I know Christmas, as of this video, is coming out in two days, uh, coming out, right? Uh, of course, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with my family. I hope you guys really enjoy your Christmas. To me, Christmas is literally the best time of the year. Oh my god, she fucking self heals. I hate you Ascension for this. I mean, within fairness, right? But like, this is messed up. Like, like what is even happening to me right now? It's the most boring garbage. I'm unkillable and the boss is unkillable. I will still try to get a video out. I don't know if I'll have one before Christmas at this point, but maybe the day before. So we got an interrupt on that. Uh, as long as this heal doesn't come up before my interrupt. I do have my bell racial, but I don't know if I can actually go another round after that because I have such little damage. Like, all I can think of is maybe I'll get lucky on the next heal and she'll get, like, stunned right there on top of it. Like, right here. Are you gonna get... I had to go for the interrupt. She wasn't gonna get stunned. This could actually be it because I got lucky. I've just gotta maintain literally everything I can. This was, like, the worst of all time, by the way. So I'll interrupt that. So I just... Oh, no. But she's gonna heal again. I don't have anything for the next upcoming heal. It's a perpetual loop. You even gave her 200,000 mana. Like, if this was Koa, for example, it'd be perfectly fine. Because the Koa classes could handle this, right? All right, the Belf racial work there. So it would literally be your own fault. But on random game modes, it would not actually be your own fault if you lost here. I am just barely going to, like, survive, I think. Uh, uh something randomly just started attacking me. Interrupt right here. Come on! Come on! Come on! Thank all that is good and holy. Because I feel like that's the only reason I survived. There we go, guys. We're saving. I'm gonna kill myself real quick. Don't worry. Not in real life. We're not quite there yet. Uh, but I will kill myself in-game. So that I can get my checkpoint, sell some stuff off, and we can relax.
So I started doing my rerolls after that big journey and I wanted to see if I could get some stuff that would kind of inspire me for the next video. What build am I going to play next? Will it actually be cool using brand new spells? I mean, one thing I've really noticed about this new season that is actually very high tier is that by splitting everything, you actually get to see the majesty of some of the design of some of these spells. Even if the spells themselves are not complex, you still get that creativity out in a way that you could not get before because they were often gate kept behind, uh, let's say, a legendary enchant where the majority of the effects might be something you don't want to play with or that sucks or that just isn't viable but with the current system I can get just one part of it and actually use it and that's what I tried to do I wanted to get something good one part of something that would inspire me once again for the next video I saw some cool stuff winterfall fire breath I actually did get arcane power um, I saw so many cool things I got the fire nova and I even saw this brand new thing that it says it throws globules of fire at enemy targets targets from your totem and then I thought fire build maybe a fire build would actually be really really cool right now regardless though I had more fun with this than I even expected outside of the fact that I got good stuff and that was through this awesome little system that I feel like needs to be talked about which is when you get enough duplicate cards they will give you golden packs at the end of the day this means there is now a free way to get golden packs you could say it was only 50 gold before that's free and then I would say sure it is I guess but it's also pay to win because you could just buy pots sell them and then get all the you know golden cards you want and it's also a crazy grind in a way that you know it's kind of unneeded considering you already grind for the regular cards now you have kind of a way to not only not feel bad when you get duplicates I mean in some ways you want the duplicates now which is a very very good design by the way whoever came up with that is someone that should be proud of themselves because they do care about the players time and they did it in a really smart way once again it also added another layer to getting golden cards so that it doesn't feel bad in that regard either. I mean, they literally took a feels bad system that wasn't perfectly designed and they made it a feel good system in one fell swoop. That's the kind of stuff that I'm a big fan of. So really like this. Now here we are in Orgrimmar and I'm just chilling butt naked with my green tower shield which I like probably a little too much. Uh, I know I'm going to be re-rolling very very soon and even though this is a shorter video guys I think it's going to have to be the end. Listen we actually made big progress it took me a while to make this happen as well we got over a 105 mana storm. I actually don't remember where we left off. Okay we did actually get to 111 that is great. We'll keep going let me know in the comment section below what's considered good in your mind uh, like is it 200, 3, 4, 5? We'll just keep Keep on pushing through. What build do you want me to play with? Let me know what you think and we'll see what ends up happening. And also, how far have you made it in Mana Storms right now, bro? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and do the giveaway from the last video. I'll be doing a giveaway in this video once again. Leave your in-game name on this server that we're playing on right now and you have a chance of winning one of these little, uh, you know, supporter packs in the next uh, Ascension video. So once again, just leave your in-game name in the comment section below and that will happen to you, bro. Okay, guys, I'm doing this early because I do not know when my next video is going to come out but I still want you guys to have the prizes I'm gonna pick one extra guy I think I said three let's do four people in this video that are gonna get something just because I don't know it's so random with this season yo so I just don't know when the next video is gonna come out but let's go ahead and pick three people to get some free goodies for season nine all right guys picking a winner first winner I think this guy's name is WW in game so he says, I feel like I can't progress without buying DP or for selling to players to buy more golden skill cards for buying bizarre tokens for more marks of ascension for normal cards. I'm surprised they didn't add racials to this RNG madness shit show of respecting the players slash time played. Yeah, I mean, I can't even disagree with you, but hopefully this little supporters pack just makes life easier for you. Elefino in game. He said so far his run's been a little mid, so hopefully this makes it a little bit better, my friend. There we go. We have, I'm a bit worried with the bloat and the RNG, but after a couple cards, I was able to make a heal and I was having fun, so I do currently have high hopes. This in-game name Ramaru. Hey man, I have high hopes for you too. I hope this little pack actually helps. Let's do one more. There we go. Man, I've played the whole night and can't stop playing. Please send help, Lickhorn. Dude, this is not the kind of help you need if that's your problem, but hey, it's gonna make everything a lot more fun. Okay, first little uh, supporter pack, WW. There we go. Elefino is up next, so... There you go. Next up, we have Ramaru, and there you go, my friend. And last, but certainly not least, Lickhorn. Congratulations, my friend, and I hope all of you have a great day. So there you go. All right, guys, Merry Christmas. I love each and every one of you in ways you cannot imagine. I am trying very hard right now to kind of like get this burden of Koa off my shoulders and make it the best game of all time. I know I haven't put out uh, many videos recently, but uh, I got this opportunity with Koa, right? And uh, I, I did not feel good when I first 
first make those videos, I get literally millions of views collectively on those Koa videos, skyrocket that popularity, at least in my own way, and then suddenly the game doesn't come out. And everyone's sitting there holding a bag. And it's easy for me to go play something else, maybe not so much uh, for you, or even if it is easy for you, maybe you think, screw that guy. And I didn't want it to be that way. And I know in a lot of ways, I don't have to take that kind of responsibility because I'm just playing the game and you don't have to buy it because I play it but it matters to me. So now here I am in a situation where I can make up for that by making Koa great and making it come out. And uh, also I get to make a game, which is like something I've always wanted to do my entire life. So I hope you guys are just willing to chill with me. You know what I mean? Like I want to do more YouTube and some streaming and stuff in the future, but I'm just, I'm working 50, 60, 70 hours a week, no less than 50. That makes me feel lazy. Uh, and I'm just trying so hard, putting out like 70% of the change logs you see right now, just doing everything I can, working with every player I can, and uh, you know what? I just hope it's worth it. I think it will be. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Like I said, Merry Christmas. Major thanks to all the members on my channel. I love and appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you once again. I'll see all of you on the next one, though, and McDoubles out.